how to make a quiz in Notion. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a quiz in Notion. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. But before that, if you don't know Notion, it is a tool for boosting productivity and teamwork enabling users to craft, arrange, and exchange content like notes, files, databases, wikis, tasks, and many more. In which its strength lies in merging tools, features into a platform, individuals can tailor their workspace to suit their requirements, whether for organization, team cooperation, managing projects, storing knowledge, and any other use. And to create an account on Notion, you could also use the link in the description, in which by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. And after signing in, you will be directed on this dashboard of Notion. And to start creating a quiz on Notion, I already have here the quiz that I've just created, in which it will show you right here, it has a question, answer, the correct answer, and also the result in here. And as you can see, the correct answer is 10 to the question 5 plus 5. If the answer is 5, then that means the result is incorrect. So that's one of the quiz that I'm going to show you how to make. And I also have created here a quiz which is true or false, with a question, answer, correct answer, and also the result of it. If the answer is not equivalent to the correct answer, that means the result is incorrect. And in order to do that, all you need to do is to go to the left side panel and just click add pages. And from here on this title, I'm going to under here quiz 2. Then below here, just click this empty page in which upon clicking on it, just enter dashboard and also searches the gallery view. So gonna click on it, then just proceed by clicking new database as your data source. And after that, it will show you the result in here. And to proceed, just select any page that you want to edit. So let's say I'm going to choose this page too. And after that, just edit or delete all of the property it contained below here. And after deleting all of the property, it's now time to add property. So just click the text type. And I'm going to rename this as question. Then just proceed by clicking enter to proceed. And we're also going to add text. But at this point, I'm going to enter here a name answer and after that just do another one which is text also but at this point i'm going to enter here a name correct answer and now the last thing that we need to do is to add a property of formula and to do so just click add the property and just search formula so can you click on it and after that you can also start editing or a name i'm going to enter here result then proceed by editing the formula by clicking this option below here. And on this pop-up window, we're going to enter an if statement formula. So if, close and open parenthesis, click the answer, enter double equal sign, and also select correct answer. So basically, if the answer is same as the correct answer, then it will show correct, or otherwise, it will show incorrect as a result. So this is basically the formula that you need to use in order to start creating a quiz in Notion, but before that, make sure that you also enter all of the formula completely and correctly. Since at some point it will show an error or this formula will not work if you did not input correctly or completely all of the formula. And after that, just proceed by clicking done button in here. And on this page, it will show us that the result is correct since the answer and correct answer is the same. So let's try to add a question. So for instance, I'm going to enter here a question which is a basic math question 4 plus 6. And the correct answer, of course, is 10. In which, as we said earlier, if the answer and the correct answer is the same, it will show result. But let's say you enter the answer are different, the correct answer, it will show us the result of being correct. But if the answer is 10, which is the same as the correct answer, it will show us correct. And aside from that, if you also want to customize this page or option, just click the three dots on the top right corner in which upon clicking on it, just click customize page and under the properties, just simply hide the correct answer. By simply clicking in here, it will show us some of the property and just use hide when empty or always hide. And after that, it will show you that we have now created a quiz using Notion. And that is the first type of quiz which is only contain a short answer. The other quiz that I'm going to do is the true or false quiz. So just do the same process, which is by clicking on property, and I'm going to input here text as the first type, and rename this as question. 
and after that, just proceed by clicking enter in order to add. Then just do the same process by adding property, but at this point, we're going to add the select type. Then just proceed by renaming this into answer. Then just hit enter and do the same process, which is by selecting the select type, but rename this as correct answer, since the options is now contained true or false. And for the last property, just click on it, we're going to select the formula. So gonna click this formula and rename this as result. And after renaming, just click enter in order to add this formula. And after that, we can now also start dragging the question to the top to arrange this quiz structure. And now to proceed, the next thing that we need to do is to simply edit the property and click formula to edit the formula that we're going to enter here. In which, at this point, we're also going to use the if statement. So I'm going to enter here if, close in parenthesis, answer, double equal sign, correct answer. It will show us correct term or words. Or otherwise, it will show us incorrect. So as you can see, this is just the same if statement formula that we just used on the first quiz which is contain short answer. And make sure before you click done, you enter the formula completely and correctly. Then just click done button. And after that, it will show you on this page if it is working. And as you can see, the result is correct since answer and the correct answer is the same. So let's try to add a question. Grass is green. And obviously, the answer to this is true. And under this answer, I'm going to enter here, true, and just click enter. In order to add the false option, just also enter or click on it, then proceed by entering false. And after entering the two options to choose, just do the same process under the correct answer by entering true and false choices. So basically, if the correct answer of this is true, I'm going to select the correct answer true. However, if the answer is false, but the correct answer is true, then the result will say incorrect. So as you can see, we just successfully create another quiz which is true or false kind of quiz. And if you want to customize the color of the option, you can do so by clicking these three dots on true or false, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you a variety of options of color that you can choose. So for true option, I'm going to select here green. While for false, I'm going to select or input here the color red. But you could also use other color depending on your preferences. And also the quiz that you just also create, you can share it by clicking the share button on the top panel. And you can send it directly to the email address of your friends for them to answer this quiz and to test if it is actually work. So basically, creating quizzes in Notion can be a powerful tool for enhancing learning outcomes, fostering engagement, and promoting deeper understanding of the subject matter. And as you can see, we just create a two kinds of quizzes, which is short answer and also true or false quizzes. So that's just basically how you can make a quiz in Notion. Thank you.